no uh, official interpretation of what the resurrection of the body means, at least from uh, Jesus. He has uh, certainly spoken about himself being the resurrection and the life. So uh, the resurrection of the body is uh, it's also a scriptural teaching. Uh, but uh, there have been different ideas, uh, if I'm not mistaken, of what, whether it's referring to after our death or at the last judgment. Some people seem, or at least some texts seem to imply that the resurrection takes place after the final judgment, which could be any time, but could be also a very long time away, depending on how you see humanity's progress so far. So. I frankly think the answer is I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. But that it is a, an ultimate state seems to be certainly clear. That's the basic teaching. When it takes place, or what is the state of, of, a, of a disembodied uh, spirit after death? St. Thomas has had trouble trying to figure this out too, if I'm not mistaken. And he said, well, it's unnatural for the uh, soul to be without a body because that's who it is. It's a unity of body and soul, and it's an embodied spirit. Or Various other designations have been mentioned in this process. So uh, does a, a person who has died still have a body, or do they just have certain energies that can affect the occasional appearance of a body, like, a, like visions and things like that. What is appearing when you see the deathbed of a dying person, or at least they see, but sometimes others present see, uh, a, a presence that has a body. It may not be a complete one, but it, is, that, is this a vision or is this a real body? Uh, so s some mystical experiences, and maybe they're just due to hallucination or various psychic sensitivities may have some uh, effect on it. I don't think we know, but I don't think we can write it off either. And what body? So Paul speaks of a spiritual body, but nobody knows quite what that is. And these visions raise the question, is this a body? Or, or, or does this, is the spirit so strong that in it, as it enters into various levels of freedom from the body and its limitations, maybe it can create its own body temporarily, or uh, if it needs to uh, be present, or maybe it through other energy centers, so we don't know much about the invisible energies that keep us alive or keep us organized or keep us as a as a person together. So, uh, but whatever happens, I think we have to leave God free and, and we can't think that we have all the answers.